So I thought I'd take a moment and show you why everyone's so excited about the SpaceClaim file format. SpaceClaim has three interfaces. It has the user interface, which is the buttons and controls that you normally push on to make SpaceClaim go. It has an application programming interface, or API, that you can use to extend SpaceClaim's capabilities. And it also has a file format that's open. And what that means is that you can directly read and edit our files to do what you want to SpaceClaim data without needing to talk to the SpaceClaim application, uh, which is somewhat unusual, but also very convenient for a lot of use cases. So what you're looking at is a flashlight assembly. We have a few parts that are in this document itself. And then we have a few other parts that are externally referenced. They're all actually in the standard parts subassembly. We have a drawing sheet and uh, with a couple views on it. And the drawing sheet has a note on it that's called uh, Test Design 12. And we'll need to remember this for later. So we'll head over to Windows Explorer. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of our document and I'm going to rename it .zip. Space claim files conform to the Microsoft Open Package Convention, which means that they're a special structure of zipped data. And so by naming it .zip, we can expand the folder and take a look at that structure. Now the first folder I'll open is this docprops folder. This shows the thumbnail that you can see in Vista and uh, other applications make use of it. Now I'll go into the space claim folder and the first file open here is the document.xml.rels. I'm going to open this in XML Notepad, which is a free XML editor for Microsoft. And this lets us traverse the XML structure. So let's see what we have here. We have a document that points to the version history. We have a external reference to an assembled component which is the uh, standard parts component. Notice also that there are some uh, unique IDs here that help us make sure the part is what we think it is. Uh, so we can verify that when we load it. This document has both internal and external relationships. For example, the geometry data is stored in ASUS binary files, these .sab files. And according to the specification, we point those out as well as the ones to data that's outside of the file. Uh, information about the sheet thumbnail, information about the tessellated data, which I'll talk about in a second. And we can also see that here is another external reference, which is to the B landscape SC doc. What's that? Well, that's our drawing format. So if you wanted to check this design into a PDM system, you would need to take along the drawing format as well as the external parts. And this document has all the information you need to do that. It also has all the information you need to write a translator to translate our assembly to a different format. Now the geometry folder contains ASUS binary data, the, which you can use to read the solid model directly out of our file. The facets folder contains XAML data. XAML is Microsoft's triangulated format, kind of goes along with DirectX. And uh, Internet Explorer can actually read a XAML file. We put a very simple lighting model into these to keep file size down, but you can directly read this out of our files, which means you could very quickly make a little viewing application to view SpaceClaim files without using SpaceClaim, for example. Now, the bulk of SpaceClaim data is in the document.xml file. So we'll bring this guy into XML Notepad and show you a little bit about what's here. First thing we can do is we can open up the design. Uh, we can see that uh, there we have some information about the state, the different components in the assembly. You can see there are some homogeneous transformation matrices there that happen to be identity matrices. We can see the definitions of all of our data. Now what I'm going to do is edit that note I showed you earlier. So we'll do a find and let's see it was called test something or another so Let's see if we can find it. And there it is, test design 12. So 
an XML notepad. I just edit this. Of course, you could do this with a text editor um, or more likely with software. And we'll change the content of the note to say new production design. You can see there are a number of other properties about the note that we could also edit. So let's save this. And the trick to reading it back in space claim is to zip it back up. So we'll just send it to a zip folder. Uh, if you try this yourself, notice that I have to do it in Windows at this level, which isn't exactly what you ex expect, but uh, Microsoft gives us another folder, so we need to maintain our folder structure. And it also gives it a silly name by default, so we'll rename it as the second version of our flashlight design. Put it next to the other one. And now I can drag this guy into space claim. And here you can see is our new updated drawing with the new note that says new production design. And we can compare it to the original, which we still have open. They're the same, other than that we've changed the note, which is exactly what you'd expect. So why would you want to play around with our files? Well, one reason might be that you want to create a translator that runs on a Unix workstation, some Unix server, and uh, can't be talking to space claim. So you can do that. Uh, you can read our entire assembly, look at the transformations of all the components, look at the solid bodies of those components, and uh, gather up information for, say, to build a bill of materials offline as the design evolves. You, one, one obvious case is you have all the information you need to check, uh, check a space claim file and all the related files into a PDM system or to build a simple viewer or any combination therein. And of course you could edit a note on a drawing automatically when something has changed. So there are a whole bunch of possibilities. A lot of what you might think you need an API to do, you can do safely by using our files. So I encourage you to open them up and take a look and let us know what you think. Thanks.